We are going to start to have a look at a process where we find the factors of numbers or expressions. But before we do that, I just want us to remind ourselves about a few important definitions. And if you don't have these definitions listed down somewhere, then you're welcome to pause the video um, on the screen and make a note of these definitions. First of all, a prime number. A prime number is a number with exactly two factors. And a factor is a number that divides into another number exactly. So a factor is a number that divides into another number exactly. So if we look at numbers, for example, like 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, etc. If we just start with 7. If you think about 7, the only two numbers that can divide exactly into 7 are 1 and 7. So itself and 1. And that makes 7 a prime number. The opposite of a prime number is a composite number. And basically all that is is a number with more than two factors. So other than itself and 1, it has other numbers that can divide into it as well. So for example 12, if we want to make a list of the factors of 12, we know that 1 will always go into uh, any number. 12 is divisible exactly by 2. 3 goes into 12 exactly as well. It goes in 4 times, which means 4 is a factor. 12 divided by 2 is 6. And the um, complement to 1 would be itself, which would be 12. So we can see that the number 12 has got significantly more than two factors. So it is a composite number, and it is a number that can therefore be factorized. Prime numbers can't really be factorized because saying that something is equal to 1 times itself doesn't really break that number down into smaller parts. Whereas 12 can be written as 1 times 12, it can be written as 2 times 6, it can be written as 3 times 4. So there are a number of different ways that you can factorize 12. Okay, and then the highest common factor refers to when we have more than two when we have more than one number so two or more numbers and the highest common factor is going to be the biggest factor or the largest factor that is common in other words that is shared by more than two numbers and we're going to have a look at some examples of highest common factors now okay so <clears throat> find the highest common factor to the following lists of numbers so if we start with the number 1 the numbers we are given are 4, 12, and 16. And it's often useful when you're finding the highest common factor to make lists of the factors. So the factors of 4 are 1, 2 goes into 4, and 4 goes into itself. So the factors of 4 are 1, 2, and 4. The factors of 12, we've just listed them on the previous screen. So it'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. <clears throat> and the factors of 16, are 1, 2 goes into 16, 3 doesn't, 4 goes into 16, 5 doesn't, 6 doesn't, 7, the next one is 8, and then the next number that goes into 16 will be 16. So if we want to look at these lists and we now want to find the highest common factor, the HCF, you can see that the biggest number that is common to all three lists is 4. 6 is not common to 4, 6 doesn't go into 4, and 8 doesn't go into 4, um, and so the highest common factor to both, or to all three numbers, is 4. Alright, now when we have algebraic examples, we need to remember the definition of a factor, and that is that it is a number that can divide exactly into another number without leaving a fraction or without leaving a remainder. So <clears throat> if we look at 2x, the factors of 2x are 2, are 1, okay, obviously starting with 1, are 1, 2, and x. We multiply x by 2, which means that x is a factor of 2x. Your factors of 6xy are 1, 2, 3, 6, x, and y, okay? And your factors of 10xy are 1, 2, 5, uh, 10, x, y, and z. So those are all the parts that are multiplied. Now, if we want to find the highest common factor, we have to consider two things here. We've got numbers and we've got variables. So let's start with the list of numbers. The highest number numeric factor 
to 2, 6, and 10 is 2. So the highest common factor will be 2. And now if we look at the variables, 2x doesn't contain the factor y. So we cannot say that y is a common factor. But all three lists contain an x. So x is the only variable that is common to all three lists. So your highest common factor is 2x. All right, when we have a look at number three, it starts to get a little bit more complicated because our, our variables now have exponents other than one. But we can go about this in this very similar way. So the factors of 3a to the 4b cubed, let's start with the numbers. So the factors of three are just one and three. Now the factors of a to the power of four, this might be a little bit uh, difficult for you to think about, but if you think about how we can arrive at a to the power of four, we can take an a and we can times it by an a cubed. So that means that a would be a factor. We could take an a squared and times it by another a squared. So a squared would be a factor. We could take an a cubed and we could times it by a to get a to the power of four. And we could also take a to the power of four and times it by one. So the factors of a to the power of four are a, a squared, a cubed, and a to the power of four. Because I can use any of those in combination with each other to multiply together to arrive at a to the power of four. Now, if we look at the b's, it'll be a similar thing. So b, b squared, and b cubed will all be factors of b cubed. So just take a moment to make sure that you understand that concept. If we now look at the factors of a cubed b squared, there are no numbers here, so it will just be a, a squared and a cubed will all be factors of a cubed and b squared's factors will be b and b squared and if we now look at the factors of 2a squared b the numeric factors will be 1 and 2 and then the factors of the variables will be a and a squared and the only factor of b will be b Okay, now, if we come to have a look at which numbers or, or which variables are common to all the lists, you can see that there is no numeric highest common factor. One and three, this one just has a one and this one just has one and two. We never really look at one as being the highest common factor because dividing something by one doesn't change its value. So there's no numeric common factor here. If we look at the variables, the highest power of A that is common is A squared. We are limited by this last one because the highest power of a, of a in this list is a squared. So the variable factor will be a squared. And then if we look at the, uh, the b's, we are limited again by this one because that's just b to the power of 1. And we can see that that's the highest number that's common to all three lists. So our highest common factor here is going to be a squared b. Right, in your homework book, there are some for you to try on your own, so please pause the video and try these ones. All right, number one, the highest common factors to these lists of numbers, 6m, 18mn, and 12m. Right, so the factors of 6m, and if you don't need to make these lists, sometimes you can see straight away what the factors will be, but for those of you who are a little bit less certain, so the factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3, and 6, and the factors of m are just m. The factors of 18mn will be 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. And then the factors of m and n will just be mn. And the factors of 12n will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12, and just n. So now we want to find the highest numbers in, all, in, in each list. So if we look at the numbers, we can see that the highest common factor would be 6. So the HCF would have a numeric uh, coefficient of 6. And then if we look at the variables, we have an M here, an M here, but no M in this list here, so in the third list. So we cannot say that M is common. If we look at the ends, we only have an n here and here. We do not have an n in the top list there. So that means that neither m nor n is common. So our highest factor is simply 6. All right, let's see if we can do this one without listing all of the factors. So 20, 10, and 30. I'm hoping that you'll be able to see that 10 is Oh, sorry, highest common factor, that 10 is the common um, um, factor to all of those lists, the highest common factor. 
Then if we look at P, we have a P squared, a P cubed, and a P to the power of 4. So P is definitely common. And because this one here is P squared, that will peg our highest common factor at P squared. Our Q, we have a Q here and a Q here, but we do not have a Q in the third number. And R, we have an R here and an R here, but we are missing an R in the first number. So 10P squared is the highest common factor.